Hey guys, I'm P-Freak. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Last time we had a little battle with Wally outside the Marvel Gym. Then we took on the Marvel Gym and got our third gym badge. And then we made our way west of Marvel City to Verdantorf Town. And along the way, we got our fourth party member in Thornberry. Now, I did say off screen that I would go level it up and also figure out when I want to actually properly evolve Thornberry. Oh yeah, we also helped some other couple get through the... Whatever it's called? Rust Turf or whatever? The Rust Turf? I think. Oh, Rust Turf. I get it. Rust Burrow, Turf, the Rust Turf Tunnel. I get it now. Anyways, I mentioned that I would figure out when I want to actually evolve Thornberry. Now, the moves that we're actually going to be giving Thornberry are actually going to be mostly TMs that we're going to be getting later on in the game. Or at least the moves that we're going to permanently keep on Thornberry. I did level it up to level 25, though, because at level 25, Thornberry actually learns Giga Drain. So that's going to be a good move to have in the interim until we can actually get the actual move I want to give it. I also gave it Venishock and Leech Seed. Leech Seed was the level up move. Venishock was actually a TM that you could buy over at Mauville. That'll help with uh, its poison typing, poison stab, or whatever until we actually get the permanent poison type move for that as well. And Leech Seed is good for some sustain in addition to Giga Drain. I also had other people level up. Gardenia leveled up to level 26, and she learned Calm Mine, which raises both special attack and special defense stats. This is actually a pretty good move. And then Bolt also leveled up. Now, there's actually an interesting little thing that I actually want to address with Bolt. Bolt actually evolves at level 26, but of course I did not want to actually have that off screen. I wanted to actually show it. Anyways, with that all said and done, on the subject of wanting to have evolutions on screen, that's also why I did not... Uh, go ahead and evolve Thornberry, because I want Thornberry to evolve on screen. Now again, this is not an evolution you can get in the original games. This is only available in the remix here, because Rose Ray did not exist in Generation 3. And just like that, we have our second Rose Raid. First one, of course, being... Um, Rosalina that we had back in our Pokemon Shield Let's Play. So, like I said, though, Roserade will not be learning any new level up moves. Any moves that she gets from now on are going to be through TMs, or possibly Tutor. Anyways, with that all said and done, now, the reason why I'm over here, if we are over here at the uh, Trick House again, because like I said, after you get access to certain HMs, you have to come back here and you're being watched. Hmm, I wonder where the guy is this time. Would he be over here? Ah, uh, how did you know I concealed myself by the street? You're sharp. Uh, no, I just read the wiki before I came over here. You, you've come to challenge our trick house, have you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. So your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Yeah, yeah, same old stuff. So the puzzle's, I think, a bit different this time. Well, first of all, I did mention that we needed access to a new HM. So this time, instead of countries, we have clickety clack Mechadol 3 am I? Do you feel confident? Escape rope 550. You'd better buy one. Uh, no thank you. You should buy one. Okay, I guess he has a weird robot here that'll sell you an escape rope. But like I said, you need a um, rock smash to actually get through here. Is there anything on the wooden platform? Just through the wooden platform stuff over here? Yes, there is. Uh, well, we have to fight this guy first. <laughs> Boulders like the ones in this room. I can brush aside with one finger. Sure you can, bud. I'm sure you can. Anyways, guys aren't required. Gotta take care of these guys off screen. You know the deal. Actually, now that I think about it, this is Thornberry's first fight since he evolved into a Roserade. Let's see how it goes. So, Makihita. Giga Drain should take care of it, no problem. Especially since it's like 10 levels, 9 levels below us. And Thornberry flinches. Well, it's fake out. Of course it flinches. But, just like that. Like I said, Roserade, Roserade's actually our first fully evolved Pokemon here. So, yeah, Thornberry's pretty freaking powerful. And funny enough, it's fully evolved form of a three stage because Roselia also earned a baby Pokemon in, I thought it had the battle setting to set. Whoops. I did have it switch over to Switch while I was trying to deal with the Invert guy, but I guess I forgot to switch it back over to set. I'll do that after this battle. Sorry about that. But I will switch over to Gardenia. Into a Machop. Oh, this is easy. Alright, so apparently we can't actually get that item over there, so we're gonna have to walk around the guy to actually get it. And like I said before, the items originally here were actually just males, which are not completely useless, so they actually they're really good items now, from what I've checked. 
crush that boulder. Up oh, and fight you. I mean, technically I could skip you, but whatever. All right, with her, who is really interrupting my thought process, out of the way. Let's see this item is over here. It is a Rage Candy Bar. I think we already, I already mentioned I got one of those. Those heal any status problem, correct? I completely forget what they do. Uh, no, heal 20 HP to an injured Pokemon, so it's basically just a fancy potion. Okay, not really the greatest, but it's there, I guess. For some reason, it was such a coveted item back in Pokemon Platinum, and I don't get why, but whatever. Alright, leave. We're gonna have to go both these pathways anyways, I believe, so... Okay, this way first. I guess there are more trainers you can actually skip in this than there were in the last one. Gridenia, grew to level 27. Nice. Bear King, King grew to level 28, and is trying to learn Rock Slide. I never even got an opportunity to use Rock Tomb, but yeah, Rock Slide's basically the evolution of Rock Tomb. Lower accuracy, but higher uh, damage. So yeah, we're gonna replace Rock Tomb with Rock Slide. I didn't even realize I had learned Rock Slide. I have not looked at Marsh Chomp's moveset in a while. And our Lion Dune's all leveled up. Or, or Lion Dune, singular, I guess the other one. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. I accidentally put the EXP share on a bit earlier, so I guess the experience points got a bit weird. Oh yeah, no, 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 what got weird was that I accidentally tossed in a Lion Dune into one of the battles. That's why, it was, that's why it's not even anymore. Oh well. And Bolt also grew to level 27, and our other Lion Dune grew to level 23. And now that Bolt also leveled up, now we can finally have Bolt evolve on screen as well. This is going to be really nice, because we're actually going to be getting an item for Bolt very, very soon. It's going to be very useful to it, at least when I can actually use it. I do not remember when I can actually start using it, but there we go. We have our second fully evolved Pokemon already in Manetric. Nice. And thankfully, pretty soon, it will get a move that will actually replace Charge Beam. But that's still going to take away. So, let's quickly get the scroll here. I don't know why I'm trying to avoid this trainer. I'm going to be fighting him in a second. Alright, found a scroll. And we write down the um, ego egotistic password. And I forgot to switch from Pokemon. Oh well. I just had the most unluckiest battle with Thornberry. So Thornberry gets hit with one, count it, one sand attack, which lowers my accuracy. It misses Giga Drain five times, has one of its Giga Drains be protected, and freaking flinches. No, two of its Giga Drains get freaking protected, and it flinches as well. <sighs> and I had to use, actually use a Soda Pop on it in the middle of the battle because it was dying so fast. <sighs> that was annoying. Another Rage Candy Bar. Woohoo. Get me out of this tricky, tricky, trick, trick place. Come on. All right. I adore Trick Master. No, I don't. Especially not that Pokemon Ranger I had to deal with right there. Hey, you made it this far? Hmm, you're sharp. Took me all night to shove in those boulders. You're almost my equal in greatness. One, two, three places. Great, you earned this as a reward. We get a hard stone, which I believe raises the power of rock type moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we can actually, if I understand correctly, we can actually go and do his house again because we don't technically need the HM for the next one. It just makes it easier. Real quickly, though, I do want to check, double check that Hearthstone. Yeah, it increases the power of rock type moves. So if we go back inside, you're being watched. Now this one, I don't think I pay attention to where he's actually hiding this time around, so this is going to take a moment. How'd you know I concealed myself inside this dresser? You're sharp. All right, he's inside the dresser. Good to note. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same old, same old. So now we don't need an H we don't really need the HM for this one. This one we can just go in because it's just a room that requires flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do not want to buy an escape room. This room technically requires flash. It's not really required. It's more like it just makes it easier. Can Lion actually even learn flash? Because if it can, I think I want to give it to Lion. It cannot. Uh, I mean, we could temporarily give it to Bolt. We'll just replace Howl for now, since I probably won't be using Howl anytime soon. Alright. 
So again, not necessary, but nice to have for in the meantime. Alright, next flash. Alright, and the room's been brightened up a bit. Uh, what do we have around here? We have a couple of trainers, it looks like. Same old, same old. Let's see, yep. Pokemon's ready to go. Alright, let's not have an unlucky battle like we did last time. Thornberry up to level 27. Not bad. Alright, guess we can't go through that. Or here. Really no point in us going over here then, I guess. Ooh, Ace Trainer Dole Battles. This will be fun for an absolute pain in the ass because in Pokemon Platinum, there are actually two Ace Trainer Double Battles that are actually really difficult. There's one just before you access Veilstone City, like literally just before. It's one of the only required battles on that route. And then there is one that is on the way to Celestic Town in the foggy area of the two Ace Trainers just walking around. So they're fun to deal with. No, not. Really not to please save me. Alright, that actually was not very hard. I guess it makes sense. Uh, we still can't go through here? Okay. How are we supposed to get over there, then? Can't go through that bamboo shack. Can't go through this one, it seems like. Unless are we able to go through it through... No? Huh. Okay. How are we supposed to get over there, then? Like, is this lady blocking the only passageway? Or am I just stupid? This lady might be blocking her only passageway through. Or wait a second. Wait, hold on. No, you can't go in through the top either. Unless... Hmm. I'm going to go with the benefit of the doubt and say that that lady is actually blocking the passageway for us. So, are we able to just exit, exit and re-enter? Yes. We'll flash up again real quick. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. I'm so glad they got rid of HMs and later generations. Alright. So, was I correct in my assumption? Was this lady blocking her way? No, I was not. Huh. Okay, then. How are we going to get over there? I wonder. Hmm. I swear I'm probably missing something. Are we? Am I missing anything? Feels like I'm missing something here. Oh well, let's just grab this item over here. Alumio Skelet! That's another one of those fully heal items where it fully restores the stats of all Pokemon. And let's just fight this trainer real quick. Ah, I see. Well, I will say this one thing. The Trick Master definitely got me this time, so... Kudos to you, Trick Master. Kudos to you. Alright. Maybe I should actually explore the entire place, though. Another Lumios Galet? I'm pretty sure Galets are supposed to be real-world food items as well. I've never actually seen one myself. Lumios is actually based in the Calarus region, which is based off of Fran France. French. <laughs> so maybe it's an actual French pastry or something. Alright, there we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I made it this far, yada yada yada. We got Trick Room, TM92 Trick Room. Trick Room's a interesting move, actually. What Trick Room basically does is that when it activates, it reverses the turn order of a battle. So slower Pokemon go faster, that sort of thing. It is used on some uncompetitive teams. I see them, in, I saw them on Pokemon Showdown when I had my small little stint there. And they can be really obnoxious because a lot of people like to build their competitive teams around fast Pokemon, but the benefit of having a uh, slow Pokemon, I guess, is that you don't have to invest into any of their speed EVs or IVs when you actually um, have a Trick Room team. Anyways, we're going on the cycling road real quickly here because, like I said, there's mostly nothing for you to do here except battle, but if you see the little sparkly stuff down there, we want to go and grab that because that is... Come on. Come on. Can we grab it? The Manectite. Now, for once, we actually have a Mega Stone that actually works with one more Pokemon, because we have a Manetric. Now comes the big old spoiler thing, or whatever. Almost all my Pokemon I have for here, almost all the Pokemon I have planned for this Let's Play, besides Thornberry over here, has a Mega Evolution attached to it. So, 
That's fun. It was originally going to be all my Pokemon would have a Mega Evolution attached to it because I was going to go with like Sharpedo or something instead of Swampert, but then I saw Sceptile's moveset and I'm just like, eh, I don't want to do that. In addition to that Mega Stone, there's one over here that I actually want to grab as well. I believe it's through this garden this lady planted over here. We go... Okay, the Mach Bike is a little hard to control sometimes. Right over here. It is a Mawilite. So, fun little thing about Mawil. Mawile. Mawile is actually kind of a useless Pokemon until it got its Mega Evolution. Then it became one of the scarier Pokemons. Because when it Mega evolves, it actually gets a new ability in... Uh, what's it called? Basically, it's that uh, ability that doubles the attack stat of the Pokemon. So it becomes pretty freaking powerful. Oh boy. Where are we supposed to be? Um, where are we going again? It's about Chimney. Stay spaced out, and you'll get scolded by Archie. Oh, chimney. That'd be a long walk going along Route 112 to get there. I wonder if I should just buy lunch first. Alright, well, seems like Team Aqua has something going on about Chimney. We might as well chase them, see what happens. Alright, welcome to Route 111, it looks like. Now I remember this because of one specific area. Right over here. I challenged the Wind Street family, but four matches in a row is tough going. They destroyed me. Four matches, huh? Uh, I just realized I have not healed my Pokemon. <laughs> Give me a second, let me stop by the Pokemon Center, and then I'll deal with them. Alright, now that we're back over here, the Wind Street family, as the guy says, it is four matches, one after the other, without any real chance to heal against this entire family of battles. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. What do you say to taking on our family in our four, seri four in a series of Pokemon battles? Mm, sure, why not? That's spirit, I like you. So yeah, these guys are, I guess, pretty tough. I don't really remember them all too much, except that they're here, and apparently, for Nuzlocke anyways, they're pretty tough. So, that's good to think about. But it looks like our team's pretty overleveled for this, so it shouldn't be too hard. And if you complain at me that Pokemon's too overpowered or whatever, or my Pokemon are too overleveled, then you can go play the game yourself and play it the way you want to. I'm playing it the way I want to. I want to have the XP share on because I actually really like this feature. I like being overpowered and not having to struggle too hard. It makes the game fun for me. Except when I can't freaking one-shot a Zigzagoon. Are you kidding me, Gardenia? I'm going to... I don't know, I'm just going to give you an annoyed glare, I guess, for now. Insert the dramatic chipmunk meme from... God, what is it, 15 years ago? Jesus, I am old. I'm not even that old! I turned 22 in like three months or whatever. <sighs> You're stronger than I thought. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. I do have three badges under my belt. Hey, y'all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Are you sure? My goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite trained to beat my husband, though. Now I suppose it's my turn to battle. Now this is the kind of this is the kind of family I expect in all the Pokemon universe and all the Pokemon families because Pokemon is a essential part of life in these areas. Why isn't everyone at least some form of Pokemon trainer? At least know how to battle, like, bare minimum. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, thankfully, Gardena will only get stronger from here because I th can't remember when exactly Gardena is supposed to evolve. I think it's level 32? I don't know. I have raised a Gardevoir before, I just do not remember its level of evolution. I keep thinking that freaking Ralts evolves into Curly at like level 18 or something. Well, Guardian is level 28, not bad. And Water Line is 24. Covet. Uh, that's. Why would you even need to teach it that? And there we go. Wow, just how strong are you? Well, again, you only have one Pokemon. He only had two Pokemon, and I have six. We've got a strong trainer here, this one's really strong. Okay, technically four Pokemon since two of them are HMs, mules or whatever. You're stronger than Mom, wow. But I'm really strong too, really, honestly. We'll see about that, kiddo. Vivi. That's an interesting name. Goldine. Alright. I'm gonna actually switch away from Gardenia so she doesn't become too overleveled. She's actually on level with uh, Bear King, finally, so that's nice. But Bear King's probably going to get overleveled again, especially considering that Bear King's actually going to help us in the next gym for once. I know we skipped out on him in the... Whoa, game froze there. 
That was weird. I know we skipped out on him in the uh, third gym, but in the fourth gym, he's definitely going to be the one taking over there. Like, no doubt about it. Alright. That was easy. Next up is a Nummel. Ooh. That could be a little bit more difficult for Bolt. But we do have Bite, thankfully. Nummel is a ground fire type, so... Yeah, electric moves ain't going to do anything. Oh, well, there we go. Get a cheap flinch and we win. This is the one pro. This is basically the biggest problem I have with Pokemon, competitive Pokemon in general. There's a lot of RNG in it. For those of you who don't know, RNG is just how random certain events happen. Like how often random events happen. Alright. And our last Pokemon is a Shrimpish. Eh. Probably would still be more damage to do charge me. Alright, you guys are supposed to be super tough. I'm freaking level 27 to your level 16. Okay, they didn't do a whole lot, but our special attack did rise, so... Maybe the next charge beam will actually KO it? Maybe? Please, Bolt. Don't disappoint me. Thank you. Good little puppy. Alright, there we go. And I think we have just one more battle left. This stinks. Grandma! Really? Are you guys at all related to Whitney or Claire? How dare you make my precious granddaughter cry? I see I need to teach you a lesson. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. It's not my fault your kid does not know how to not freaking cry when she loses. Alright, all she has is a Meditite. You know what? Just Gardenia, take it. I don't even care. Alright, just one draining kiss. And this Meditite should be gone. Nice. God, you guys are supposed to be a challenge? Each of you have one to two Pokemon, or your granddaughter was basically the best one with having three Pokemon, but still, they were incredibly weak. Whoa, so strong. My granddaughter wasn't lying. <laughs> yeah, if you're not in the heart, he visits us for a while. Uh, sure. Do you guys have any reward for me to actually beat all four of you? You're the first trainer I've seen to deploy Pokemon with such mastery. But I should warn you, my son is stronger than you. He even challenged Pokemon League. Oh, so there's actually a fifth person of you. Um, Mom's stronger than Dad, I'm stronger than Mom, and Grandma's stronger than me. But the big brother seems stronger than Grandma is. Well, yeah, he's not sitting around waiting for a weak trainer to come by and actually has probably has five Pokemon on him. Our family uses the Macho Brace to strengthen our Pokemon more effectively during the training. May not need it, considering that you should be in the whole lot of us, but I hope you'll accept it anyways. We get the Macho Brace! Okay, this is a pretty interesting move item. When it comes to Pokemon battles, we're pretty passionate. So the Macho Brace, what it does is that it actually doubles the amount of EVs you get per battle. So if you're an EV trainer that doesn't want to use the super training function, it's not a bad item to have. There's no question that you're strong. If you ever battle my grandson, you'll end up crying in frustration. He's stronger than any other trainer we know. My grandson must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright, and with that all said and done, I think this is a good place for us to stop. We defeated the Trick Master's next two rooms, we got ourselves two more Mega Stones, and we also beat this family that's supposed to be super tough or whatever. I'd say it's a good place for us to stop. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media links. All that will be in the description. Next time, we're going to follow those grunts to try and make our way over to Mount Chimney, and maybe finally make our way to the fourth gym. I'll see you guys then.